What's going on everybody, Yif Graphics here, and today I'm bringing you some more Nekopara. Last time we left off, they were wanting me to go to bed with them, both of them, in a single bed, and it would not work out, and they were kind of sad, but I guess we worked out our differences. I don't really know, but uh, I should play this so you can hear it. So you did send them here. Why? Well, they're not really wanting to agree with you, okay? Was what she told me when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Sugary, even if you say that, but even if you say that, I don't think chocolate and vanilla will. <clears throat> huh? Don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something. In any case. Of course he is. Of course he is. I guess I'm Nisama. Love you too. Uh, wait, Shigure. And she hung up just like that. Seriously. As the ruthless electronic buzz of the dropped call echoed, I stared at my cell phone. And here I thought I could sort this all out if I could just talk to Shigure. Yeah, I don't think so. I bet it did. I made it specially just for you. I put something special in it. What kind of person uses ketchup in breakfast? What the fuck did you just eat? I'm so fucking confused right now, I don't even know. The cat girls in question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. Uh, what? Ew! These sandwiches incidentally contain tomato cheese and lettuce. With an over easy fried egg tucked inside all of that. It was a simple meal. A simple meal?! That sounds like the best freaking sandwich I've ever heard in my life! <coughs> Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? Uh, I mean, you made the world, you know... I don't know, you, you kind of make it stressful, but I guess also fun, I guess. Huh? Stop with the deliberately misleading words. I sighed at their happy-go-lucky mindset. What was that sound? I took the opportunity to fill their glasses and to fill their empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was straightforward. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening too. Does the bakery open today? I don't even know. Oh. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you two. Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. A good <laughs> well, I can't take care of you and the bakery at the same time, so yes, that's why. She put her sandwich down on her plate. Man, I really want one of these sandwiches now. I wonder if we have eggs. We might have eggs. I don't even know. If we do, I'm probably gonna make one of these sandwiches. This sounds pretty fucking amazing. And just like yesterday, she looked at 
me with the uh, unturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. <clears throat> What is wrong with you? You're not my cat. You're my sister's cat, not mine. I don't know why you're getting sad. Her, sh her shoulders drooped more than before. The ears which sat atop her head drooped down heartily too. I know you are both sad. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look at with concern. <sighs> the pain from last night pricked out my heart again. I tilted the already cooled coffee cup. As my emotions dulled, unimpeded by my judgment. Hello, why are you so close? I want to be with you too. But I got a bakery to- <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I can't. Her usually always perky ears were drooping. Chocolate was speaking clearly under her own vol- 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 volition? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's good for you. Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change. Yeah, I understand that her face is definitely expressionless. However, she showed me her strong determination. Hold up, I guess. I really like these two girls' eyes. Like, oh my god, they're so pretty. I don't remember Chocolate or Vanilla even being this disobedient. That thought stayed at the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That understood? Huh? I wasn't expecting any visitors today. Bakery's not open yet. Don't you read the sign? What? I ordered a tea set? I guess I did. Okay. She smiled brightly, and brought out the invoice along with her, a pen. Okay, let's see. I looked over the sales invoice I received once more. Somehow, this doesn't look like what I ordered. Yeah, it's not your fault, I, I don't think. I don't know, what are the items? No, the stuff I ordered is in here too, but I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain! It was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. I don't see that many boxes. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, was it not for me? Okay. Okay. Why? It's not mine. Except this order. Huh? From all this? The mountain of cardboard boxes toward over everything. 
I was at a loss of words. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. On top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contained expensive tea sets and tableware. And if I accepted it all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Um, there's still things that need doing in advance of my bakery opening, so I don't mind accepting these. But it's going to take a while to deal with all of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort too. Hmm. What are y'all two doing over there? What are y'all doing? That's right! I have a lifeline! I'm confused! <clears throat> oh. Okay, bye. Ha. Ah. I'm exhausted. I glanced at the table where we had finished organizing, lowered myself into a chair, and relaxed my shoulders. Good God, they bounce too much. Uh, by the way, uh, is there like, uh, configurations? Yeah, you can like, adjust the chest bounce in this, so I have it kinda like, set there. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank- Thanks, Chocola. Don't mind if I do. I downed the cold tea in one gulp. What? I mean, if it's just like a little glass of tea, I guess. Somehow or another, the light mill tableware had arrived. Soon, I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. I did say I need any help I could find, and I really did need help this time. Huh. Get out of my bakery, you're going home. I'm k I could sense the praise me Aurora coming from chocolate. You could sense it? She was basically saying it. She had a wide smile on her face and was in a ready stance to receive my approval. You did a horrible job, I don't know what you did wrong. Thanks, I couldn't have done it without you two. Yeah! 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 I think Vanilla was more helpful. I don't know if even if she even did anything. Yes. See? Why don't they just stay, Mr. Man? Why don't they just stay and help you around in the bakery? <clears throat> hey, you two are getting a bit too close. They lean forward towards me for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. But that's a different issue than the one from before. You two have to go back home. That's still rude. That is so rude. Don't you see that they can help you around here? Besides, it's not like I could ask. Wait, oh shoot, what happened? I can't go back. <laughs> her shoulders drooped along with her ears and tail. As her tail's not really drooped. The enthusiasm she showed earlier had completely disappeared. She sighed deeply, 
and look disheartened or disheartened. Man, don't get rid of her. Jeez. Come back. You're so beautiful. She trudged up to the second floor, still dejected. Chocola isn't an idiot. I knew she was pushing herself to be bright and full of energy. But even so, this wasn't something I was going to easily change my mind about. It was all the more with how much she cared for me. You're not bad. She spoke quietly in her usual way. In her usual way. Vanilla tilted her head as she asked that question. You two aren't bad cat girls, and that's why I can't have you stay here. That does not make no frippin' sense. It's because you two are good cat girls that I can't allow it. What? What? She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She stared directly at me. Long and hard. I am confused too, ma'am. I'm confused too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanilla. Okay. With those words. She went upstairs. The sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared, and before long, I couldn't hear them anymore. Humans are hard to understand, huh? Inside the bakery, now devo devoid of anyone but myself, I repeated those words she had just said to me. Now that I think about it. That's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Cats do not understand that. Having heard that said aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. It must be pretty nice to live the simple life of a cat girl, huh? So are they all cat girls? Like, there's no cat boy or anything? Like, what? I pondered. As I looked at this, at the name of the bakery affixed to the window, with a bitter smile, I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Let's just say the cup broke by now. Okay. Well, you know what that means. You know what. You know what that means. We gotta go. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out, everybody.